The Jazz taking on the Hornets. For the Utah Jazz, the goal is to improve each time they take the floor, emphasizing communication and effort. Hornets, Jazz, coming up next. Welcome, fans, to 2K Sports Thursday afternoon coverage of the NBA. This is Brian Anderson with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Allie LaForce, our reporter. So let's take a look at the starters for the Utah Jazz. George and Sexton in the backcourt. Then there's John Collins. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. And it's Hendricks in at the four slot. And for Charlotte, it's Miller and Bridges teaming up at the forward spots. Trey Mann out there with Ball. And it's Williams in at the five. And Grant, for each of these teams, wins have been tough to come by lately. No doubt. That creates a little bit of added pressure, too. So the last thing a struggling team wants to do is lose to an opponent in the same situation. Miller outside. Pass to Williams. Back to Miller. And stolen by Markkinen. To the inside. Here's Collins. Kicks it out to Marketing. Here's Hendricks. This one for three. Buries it from three. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. And given LaMelo Ball is six foot seven, how does this give him an advantage in his position, Grant? Well, B.A., he's able to score on smaller guards as well as see over them and find his teammates. His height and quick decision-making are real weapons. And that one falls for Ball. Well, Doris, one thing about LaMelo Ball, not many true point guards walking around at 6'7". B.A., the length of a forward and yet one of the most prolific playmakers in the game today. That gives a coach a lot of versatility and options with one individual player. Now here's Markkinen. Misses the three. There's a minute 59 left in the first quarter. Pass to Bridges. Here's Ball. Shot clock at five. There's the drive. Can't cash it in from close range. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Sexton passes to Collins. George outside. Collins a screen. Let's the three fly. George, and that's good. And there's a nice rhythm to his three-point shot. You know, George has a confident stroke. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Brandon Miller caught some flack when he named Paul George as his GOAT. But PG-13 said, I know what he meant by it. Obviously, I'm not the greatest of all time, but it's about who inspires you. Miller, for his part, knocked backing down and saying, how the league is built now, Paul George is the right person to study for this generation. Brian? Allie, thanks. Marketed for three. And the rebound goes to Charlotte. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter here. Bridges, right side. It's rebounded by Hendricks. Utah's gone two for four from range to start things off. Outside Sexton, pass to Markkinen. Over ball, and Markkinen gets it to go on the assist by Sexton. Boy, Markkinen uses his size to great effect down low. Now here's Mann. Williams with the screen. Shoots over Collins. Williams misses. George feels it out a bit. Shoots over Ball. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. 
Utah shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. That's good from George. Second free throw, no good. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Utah ahead, leading by five. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from the Jazz, what's your take so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And in recent seasons, Grant, almost no team's been hit by the injury bug as much as the Hornets. Yeah, B.A., I mean, you wonder what they could have done if they'd stayed healthy. They built the team around key players, and those guys have just missed a lot of time. They've got Nick Richards. Green out there with Grant Williams. Then there's Cody Martin, and it's Micic in at the point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hornets. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Here's Collier. They set a pick. Fires from 14. Clarkson finds Williams. Counted from distance. Williams has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Green for three. Utah grabs the miss. Williams with it. Guarded now by Williams. Pass to Kessler. Back to Clarkson. Here's Sensabaugh. Now here's Williams. Williams defending. For three, Collier. Richards pulls it in. Hornets trail by five. Richards with a screen. The kick out to Williams. Here's Micic. No made baskets yet. And the Jazz pushing it up now. He's all alone. And Williams punches it home. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. A big group substitution here for Charlotte. Mark Williams, he's checked in for Richards. Miller comes in for Green. Man, he's checked in for Martin. And it's Ball in for Micic. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Utah leading by seven. Pass to Markkinen. Here's Hendricks. And the three-pointer goes. Hendricks has got his second basket on the night. It's not just the decision-making. It's the ability to put the pass where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. Mr. Markkinen, well done, sir. Now here's Williams. Williams finds ball. Williams with the screen to end the run. And Ball gets it to go. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Markkinen. Here's Hendricks. He has six. And here's Clarkson from behind the arc. Oh, thanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Here's Miller. Some solid defense from Markkinen. The shot, no good. And we finished off one half of play. Utah ahead, up eight. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit.
And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. And Grant, we know the importance of the veteran leaders on a team, but not every vet wants to accept a mentorship role. Very true, B.A. In your later years, that role becomes a blend of playing and kind of coaching. Not everyone is cut out for that. So the Jazz Five right now. Sexton and Markkinen out on the wings. Then there's George. Then there's John Collins. And it's Hendricks in at the four spot. On the wing man. It's intercepted! Sexton passes to Collins, and Collins with the slam. Yeah, just a nice show of force by Collins, taking it all the way to the rim and flushing it home. Bridges outside, over to the left wing. Williams with the screen. Here's Ball, and it's blocked by Collins. Here's Sexton. Sweet little floater. And it's a 12-point Jazz lead. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. What growth from Lowry, Market and Doris, the 2023 Most Improved Player Award winner. Yeah, you think about it. Market and entered the league at just 20 years of age. You forget how young these guys are sometimes. But Market and finds a great situation where he's a featured part of an offense, and then he makes an all-star team. And that one's good. Market and love to see the seven-footer Markkinen go right up with it. Doesn't give the defense time to react. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Bridges, a screen on George. Ball passes to Bridges. A bit of a tweener, but Miles Bridges finds ways to show up in the box score door. Well, you know he's looking to score, Brian, first and foremost. Easy to set up as he can attack from virtually anywhere. No matter what, you know that Bridges is going to get you some buckets. Williams is checked in for Charlotte. Green comes in for ball. Clarkson's checked in for Utah. Mills comes in for George. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. Down low. Kicks it out to Clarkson. Let's it go from deep. The Hornets pull it in. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, Brian. Well, a lot of change for this Hornets organization. New ownership, a new front office, a new head coach, some exciting new talent. They're renovating the arena and building a new practice facility. Other than that, not much has changed. VA? Business as usual, Allie. Thanks. And Utah has possession. After the basket by Charlotte. Shot clock at six. The putback. Williams grabs the board. The Hornets have gone just one of three in the second half. Outside, Williams. Puts it up from the high post. And Mills pulls it down. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. And it's Charles Lee calling timeout here. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Now here's Ball. Launches it. Not going to go that time. And so it's the Utah Jazz. Now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. Defense is setting the tone. And, and let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four, it's Miller and Bridges teaming up at the forward spots. Ball is out there with Trey Mann. And it's Williams in at the five spot. That's the Hornets five. Sexton misses. Hornets trail by 12. Ball surveys the floor. Pass to Bridges. 
George against Ball. Clock at six. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for Utah. Well, when you talk about the most underrated players in the league, Doris, Sexton has to be in the conversation. Well, let's begin with the fact that he's an absolutely fearless scorer, a tough competitor, an improved facilitator. There's grit, determination. He's willing to get into you defensively. He is somebody that will compete on the defensive end. Williams with the screen. Ball passes to man. Ball with it. Rebound, Utah. Collins has got six rebounds here tonight. And there's the call on the mellow ball. That's foul number two for him. A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. Pass to Markkinen. Over Miller. Nice touch inside there from Markkinen. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Utah leading by 13. Pass to George. 127 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Sexton looking around. Five to shoot. Ooh, Williams with the block. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Here's George. And a miss there off the inbound. Hornets trail by 13. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Jazz. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. <laughs> yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Lowry Markkinen. Well, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hendricks. Here's Markkinen. Here's Hendricks. Now Markkinen, just five on the clock. For three, George. Another three for Utah. Yeah, Markkinen's vision on display there. Very good awareness. Team foul. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. And so it's Utah easily grabbing this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And now let's take a look at our player of the game, John Collins.